So when Gemini 3 first launched, I was creating loads and loads of sales funds with it. But the question that kept coming up was like, how do I actually go from a prototype to actually having something live on a URL that can actually take payments? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it and how I used Gemini to essentially create the sales page draft and then how I took that code from Google and put it into my funnel building software. Um, and then how we actually went live and my client has literally started making money from the new sales page. You can see here um, that this is the, the current landing page as it stands. Now our client, he operates in Norwegian. So don't worry if you don't understand what this says, but ultimately we took him through a process of writing out the copy first. And then um, we essentially got uh, Gemini to create this landing page. You can see it comes with like cool little animations, which add some dynamism to the page. A founder section here with a slight animation as well, which is really cool. A benefits section, inbuilt testimonials, which we're using a Vimeo to embed. Um, and then a really nice offer stack section over here. And you can see here that when you click the button, um, it immediately sends the pop-up to essentially take payment. And you can see that this is uh, completely mobile optimized as well. And I actually think the mobile version looks better than desktop, which is you know really fantastic now where is this uh funnel actually hosted so we use go high level um to create our sales pages and sales funnels the first thing that we did was use google ai studio to create the initial mock-up of the sales page so you can see my prompt here all right create a landing page for my product Rikfried program um, a training app that helps eliminate back pain and includes coaching includes uh, coaching support this is the website copy in Norwegian to be designed into a 12 into the 12 step format for a landing page. So inside the system prompt for Google AI Studio, I've got our um, 12 step sales copy writing format. Um, if you want to get access to that um, links in the description to join our school community. Um, but essentially, that's the context that I gave uh, Gemini. And then we just copied and pasted all of the copy based on the different sections. So in the 12 step sales ed section, we've got attention, identify problem. So all of the copy is basically provided in that first master prompt. So you can see it's quite long. Um, and then it gave the design back. Now, this is the final design you're seeing. You're not seeing the iterations leading up to this point, but that's okay. Um, so I essentially saw the design um, and then I just went through a series of, um, you know, extra prompts. So, for example, please add a video testimonial section space for six vertical videos from Vimeo. OK, so then it was like, all right, everything that was being created in Google AI Studio was uh, what we call React code. Now, I had no idea what this was or even that it was a thing up until very recently. But through a bit of research, I realized that Go High Level doesn't accept React code in the back end. But what it accepts is custom HTML. OK, so I then asked Google after I was happy with the initial draft design, I said, we now need to prepare this so it's HTML and CSS so I can easily copy and paste the various sections over into a custom code block inside of Go High Level Funnel Builder. OK, so that was the brief. And so um, Google then said, OK, to make this easy copy and paste into GHL, um, I have to convert the entire React application into a single raw HTML file. Great. Um, so then what it did was it converted the entire backend, all of the code into HTML, and it also split it up into sections. Right now, this is where it gets really cool. And this is really important because this is how we transfer it over and actually host it on your URL. So if you go to the code, you check index.html, you will see that we've got all of the code laid out here. But you can see that it's broken it up into different sections. So you can see here section one hero um, attention. So that's the whole of section one. We've got section one identify the problem. We've got section three, provide the solution. And this just goes all the way down and it's organized our code into nice little sections for us, which is which is very, very helpful. So um, what I then did, OK, was go over to Go High Level Funnel Builder. OK, so you open up your sales funnel, your, your sales page, and you just build it out section by section using custom HTML and JavaScript um, you know, sections, OK? So you basically just create a new one of these sections and you just drop in, you know, full width. Um, and then you go and you drag this little code, this custom code thing. You pop that in there. 
Um, and then what I do is I, like, I literally just duplicate it inside one of these green things. Okay. So you can see I've got the green section here, which is just the footer, but I've got my entire sales page's structure laid out like this, where I've just du duplicated these things. One thing that is really helpful for the design is to make sure that your sections, you just toggle this allows rows to take up entire width and that will allow your design to stretch the full page. Um, and then it's just a case of copying um, over the actual raw code from Google AI Studio one section at a time. Okay. So you can see I got my headline and I just go and copy and paste that in. Okay. Now, um, what I also did was added a custom CSS, okay, which um, uh, was actually part of the Google AI Studio thing. And so one thing you can see here is actually the headline, the heading tracker, which is essentially this uh, block of text above my hero section. So all of this stuff right at the top basically goes right into here, into the tracking code for the head header tracking. Now, this is what basically gives guy level ideas on like the fonts, the colors, uh, the hierarchy of the text. So that kind of sets the tone as a style guide. And then each individual HTML uh, custom block is just copied and pasted over from this uh, section. Now, you might be asking the question, how did I actually get the, um, you know, the images and the URLs in here? Well, what I did instead of going back and using Google AI Studio to, to do this whole thing for me, um, I actually opened up another tab and went into Google Gemini. Um, and I just ensured that I had a uh, three pro uh, connected and I would then uh, copy and paste like the section uh, code that I wanted to change. So for example, the headline, so I would just copy and paste this over. I would paste it into guy level. I would preview it. So I'd hit this button, which ultimately just allows you to preview the sales page. So you can see here, this comes in as a preview. And for example, if I didn't like the image at the back, I would ask Gemini, I would say, here is the code. Here is uh, a custom code block I'm working with. Please change the background image to this. Okay. Now, obviously you need something to change the background image to, in which case what you need to do is go into go eye level, go to your media storage, the media library, upload your image to that. And then if you just right click the little three buttons, it'll give you a link, copy that link and just paste it into Gemini and it will change the code for you. And you just copy and paste what it gives you um, and just paste that back into GHL um, in your custom code block. Another cool thing you can do, which I, f I thought saved me a lot of time, was I actually gave this entire index code to Gemini. And I said, hey, I'm trying to put this into a guy level funnel um, and I'm just doing it section by section. Can you actually just break out the code for me so I can copy and paste it and tweak it um, individually? So you kind of, you know, use oh, flip. You kind of use Google AI Studio to design and create the initial thing. And then you use Gemini 3 to help you with troubleshooting. If you want to change links, if you want to change any things, or, you know, if you're struggling with something, Gemini basically will just guide you through the whole process. But essentially, you know, this is how we do it. All right. So this is how we took a vibe coded. This is how we got AI to design a sales page um, and actually hosted it on GHL. And, you know, Adni has basically started prom promoting this uh, funnel already. Um, and I think in 24 hours, he's gotten five sales, um, you know, which is a modest amount. But, you know, if you can sell one thing from your sales funnel, you can sell it to a thousand. So he's got his first five in 24 hours. You know, I think that's like 200 to 300 uh, USD recurring every month. Now he just has to scale that up. All right. So we're going to focus on, you know, traffic building strategies and everything. But ultimately, that's how we went from AI creating the mockup, hosting it on go high level, um, through custom code blocks. Um, and then obviously on the back end of this, you know, go high level funnel, we connected that to the URL. We did the metadata. Um, and then, you know, the, the, oh, and this is probably, you know, worth sort of sharing with you is like, how did we connect this button up to the pop up? Well, what I did was, um, for the offer stack section, um, I took the offer stack 
So I just find it here in the code. So here we go, offer stack. I copied and pasted that into Gemini. When I go to the pop-up settings, I just created a custom class called pop-up. Um, and I told Gemini what the custom class was and it literally hooked it up for me and the code then ended up triggering the pop-up, which was fantastic. And then when the customer fills in the details, this button is then triggered to go to the next step, which then goes to our client's upsell um, to book in a call. Okay, so, you know, you kind of work in this little sandbox of, um, you know, go high level. And the cool thing about this is that everything is responsive, which I think was like the biggest surprise for me. Um, you know, usually that's something you really got to play around with and it takes ages to do, but everything is perfectly responsive, which is just nuts. Okay, so, you know, we went from um, idea to execution. Again, what I did here was I asked Gemini, I said, here are all of the Vimeo links. Can you work that into the code? And it just gave me the code block. It, it added all of the Vimeo links into the custom code block that I just then copied and pasted into here. And Bob's your uncle. You know, we've got our nice, uh, you know, testimonials here as well. Um, then what we essentially did, you know, once we were just signing this off at the client was just figuring out, obviously I don't speak Nor Norwegian. So he just helped us, uh, you know, dial in the copy, ensure everything was uh, speaking correctly. Um, but even that button links, there's nice animations to it. And, you know, you've got a cool sales page that is ready to start making money. Um, so yeah, ultimately that's how we used AI to design a landing page and hosted it inside Go High Level. There's a lot of work that ultimately went into Odney's funnel before, uh, you know, we actually created it. The design is just one thing. You know, if you want to learn how to create persuasive copy, you want to learn how to, you know, do a, a marketing a campaign that actually drives people to your landing page. Um, and you want to learn how to create offers. Like there's so much that goes into actually um, ensuring that this was ready to actually execute. But that's all stuff that we teach inside our school community. So if you want to dive into that and you want to learn how to use all of these cool things and ensure that you're setting yourself up for success, then check it out, my friend. And I would love to see you inside. But that's enough for me. Please like this, subscribe. Let me know if you want any more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.